Police in DeSoto today showed body camera video and talked about the circumstances surrounding the shooting death of a Dallas ISD teacher. Michael Nunez was shot and killed during a burglary call. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has more on what police had to say today. Alex. Hi, Steve. Uh, and today we did learn that DeSoto police had two previous encounters with Nunez this month. Last Sunday, officers uh, responded to an area park uh, where Nunez was seen to be knocking over trash cans and acting erratically, according to the police chief. So uh, officers arrested him and charged him with littering. Uh, he spent the night at the DeSoto jail. The next day he was released and less than two hours later, uh, he was shot to death less than a mile from here. Right 11.38 Monday morning, a woman home with her 10-year-old son makes a frantic call to 911. She tells the dispatcher there's a man inside her DeSoto home located along the 300 block of South Polk Street. He walked in an unlocked door. What part of the house do you have? He's in the kitchen, just walking around in my house right now. Dash cam video released by DeSoto police at a news conference Friday shows officers responding to the scene. By the time they get to the home, the burglary suspect later identified as 47-year-old Michael Nunez is outside. He's on the sidewalk, then appears to lunge towards the officer. We're stopping the video before he is fatally shot. Still images released by police focus in on the metal object in Nunez's hand. You hear the officer who shot Nunez tell the other officers he had a knife. He's got a knife in his hand. Right here, right here. Body camera video from another officer shows the metal object being recovered and bagged as evidence. <laughs> In the body camera video, you don't hear the officer who fired the deadly shots give verbal commands. The chief says there was a malfunction with the camera. We have no idea what, what caused it to, uh, to malfunction. In the video, you see the officer, who is a four-year veteran of the department, repeatedly tap his body camera. The audio eventually comes on after the fact. Chief Joe Costa says the microphone inside the officer's cruiser recorded him giving verbal commands to drop the weapon. That audio was not released at the news conference. When you listen closely, and we're going to enhance this so that we can put that out later. When you listen closely, he does give commands to the subject to drop the object. Nunez was a Dallas ISD teacher with no criminal history. Reached by phone Friday, Nunez's mom tells Fox 4 News her son suffered some sort of mental breakdown about a week or so ago. She was trying to get him help and was in the process of securing a court order for his committal when he was shot. Chief Costa offered his condolences but said the officer's actions, in his view, were justified. Officer believed it was a knife. As you heard him say, he's got a knife. Then the only response is to uh, lethal force. And the officer has been placed on paid administrative leave as this investigation plays out. Now, the chief uh, further described that officer as a good officer who he says follows the rules. Uh, now, the Grand Prairie Police Department is the one that's actually handling uh, the criminal investigation to see if there was any wrongdoing on uh, behalf of the officer. Uh, those findings will be forwarded to the Dallas County uh, District Attorney's Office. The Soto Police, meanwhile, are conducting uh, the internal affairs investigation. Steve. All right, Alex. Thank you.